there may be a vruddhi sandhi uh, sandhi so he is uh, bringing out those rules next therefore he is introducing upasarga and upasarga here are added to a dhatu te prag dhato ho so we will see upasarga definition here it says upasarga kriya yoge so kriya yoge sati upasarga sanyasyu what which are these so for that we have to look up the this sutra 1449 in the ashtadhyayi so 1449 in the ashtadhyayi Because it's just sanya upasarga kriya yoga upasarga upasarga what is an upasarga when there is a kriya yoga so for that we have to look up in the ashtadhyayi one the sutra is 1459 around that area so here you look at it See. Yeah. This is section start nipata sanya prakaranam. Okay. Here there is a nipata sanya prakaranam. Yeah. One one four fifty nine. And here, see, this nipata sanya prakaranam starts from here. Pragrishura nipata. So pragrishura prag before rishura. There, there is a word so 98 if you look at 98 sutra here sutra 98 uh, that is 98 see so 97 so from 98 another prakarana starts so till here you see okay, for some reason my computer is a little stuck today Okay, see Adhirishwari, Adhirishwari, so Adhirishwari, this Rishwari, this Pragrishwarat, so before this, before this Pragrishwarat, so before this means what? Till up to, up to 97, Prag, before this, the Anurutti will go. After that, the Anurutti drops off from 1498 and that's how we get the Anurutti of, of this Nipataha, so Pragrishwarat Nipata. So Nipata, this, this word Nipataha, this word goes till 98. And what does Nipata mean? So Nipata is also a Sanya. Anything that is covered from 1456 to 1498, that is Nipata. That is a Nipata. And the usefulness of Nipata is to make it an Avyaya. It is to make an avyaya. So we'll, the idea is that Nipata will be there in this sutra also. Upasarga is introduced. The Sanya Upasarga is introduced. What is an Upasarga? Pradaya. So you see the earlier this sutra Pradaya. So we are interested in this Nipata. So I'll highlight this Nipata. And Pradaya. Pradaya goes till 60. So 58, 59 and 60th Sutra in 60th Sutra. So I have to unfortunately here you have to scroll up and down. So 60th Sutra is what? Gatishya. So this Sutra, if you put them together, Pradaya, Pradaya, Upasarga, Kriya Yoga and then Gatishya. These three are to be read together to understand what is happening in this sutra upasarga kriya yoga pradaya so here pradaya nipataha pradaya is what this plural of what pradi pradaya is plural of pradi pradaya nipataha syuhu pradis are nipatas what is pradis pra adi eshamte so do a group there is a gana just like we have dhatu gana there is another gana patha also where words are grouped together some kind of words or some kind of uh, basically some entities are grouped together and they get the name by whatever is the beginning the element which is in the beginning the member which is in the beginning 
So pra is in the beginning, therefore it, it is called as pradigana. So in pradigana, whatever is listed, pra, etc., pra onwards, uh, it will be listed here in Uposarga. Those are called as pradi. So those who have done samasas, you may have heard of pradi samasa, gati samasa, these kind of words, pradi bahuri, pradi tatpurusha. So those are what? This pra adi. Starting with pra, etc. They are, they will make a samasa and in, if it is a Tatpurusha, it is called as a Pradi Tatpurusha. If it is a uh, Bahuri Samasa, then it is called as a, it's a Pradi Bahuri. And similarly, there is another Sanya called Upasarga. Upasarga is a Sanya. Like Nipata, there is a Sanya, there is Upasarga is also Sanya. So, pra, Pradayaha Nipataha. Pradis are Nipatas. Then Upasarga is also Nipatas. Upasarga is also Nipata and Upasarga is what? is the sanya for this pradis whichever pradis are there pradi and in the vritti you will see there will be it will be listed if you see the vritti here the vritti we are look at pradaya kriya yoge upasarga sanya hasyu upasarga is a sanya introduced in this sutra and what are these these are pradis pradis pra para apa sam anu av Nis, Nir, this is not Nira, it is Nir, it is Nir, Dus, Dur, not Dura, Dur, Vi, Ang, Ni, Adhi, Api, Ati, Su, Ut, Abhi, Prati, Para, Upi, Ete, Pradayaha, so these are Pradis, all these, so Pradigana is what the entire Pradigana has been listed by the Vyakhyanakara here, the Lagukara, he says, Pra, starting with Pra. So Pra Adi, this is what Pra Adi Gana is equal to Pra Adi Gana. Pra Adi Yesham Te, Yesham Kesham, Etesham. These, these which are there, all these elements begin with Pra. So this is a Pra Adi Gana. And when Pra Adi Gana, any Pra Adi Gana member is added and has Kriya Yoga. Has Kriya Yoga, then Kriya Yoga means what? It has Pra, let's say pra means, for example, pra means prakarshena. Pra, all these can have specific meanings based on the context. So you have to understand the context where, uh, 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 where it is used, what kind of meaning, in which meaning has it been used. So let's say prakasha. Prakarshena kasha, uh, uh, kasha te prakasha. I am making something up. So that can be the meaning there. So, uh, pra may have prakarshena, that kind of a meaning. Okay, and similarly, we see sam, sam may have samyak, samyak kind of, samyak meaning. Anu, anu is following. Nis say nirgata, nir and nis, nir and nis actually, um, there is a technical reason why there are two, uh, because what we saw in Tripadi, what is in Tripadi, the rule in Tripadi cannot be seen by the earlier sutras. In Sapada Saptadhyayi and also in Tripadi, wherever this Ruttwam happens, Ruttwam is, is Repha. Sakara is replaced by Repha in the uh, Tripadi. And if Nis and Nir are same, if we instead of Nis and Nir, we just take Nis. And we say Nis itself becomes Nir. Then in cases where um, uh, you have Sutras which precede the Ruttwa, Prakarna in the Tripadi, those will not be able to see this Ruttwam at all. Therefore, Nis is also added here. Similarly, Dus and Dur. Dus and Dur have similar, have a same meaning. There is no difference between Dus and Dur really, but for technical reasons, uh, they have been separated out. And these meanings are known in the context. What is the, uh, what is the um, uh, meaning for each and every Pradigana? Uh, entity, these are known in the context. Now, uh, okay, there is a question about the, uh, if there are any uh, additional uh, typos here, I wouldn't know. Uh, let me just check up in a, in the book, in the printed book, there may be, see, these are uh, OCRs, so OCRs may have issues. So here, para, it's not para, it may be, so let me see, pra, para, um, up, upper, sam, anu, av, nis, Ava, so Ava, Nis, Nir, Nis, Nir, Dus, Dur, then V, 
बी में भी विशेषण इत्यादि आंग आंग मर्यादा और अभिविदो नी अधि अपि अति सु से सु इज सुष्टु एंड उत सो एक्चुअली उत इज लिस्टेड हियर बट लेट्स मेक दिस उद देयर इज अ रीजन व्हाई इट इज नॉट ओके समथिंग एल्स वेंट रॉन्ग ओके Yeah, ud. So this is not ud. It is. It has to be ud for a technical reason. So I'll make it ud. Ud, abhi, prati, and then pari. Not para, pari. So pari. Yeah, it is right. Pari, and then not upi. So see this. This e has gone after this. So it is upa. There is no upi, upa. So what is the list? Para, para, apa, sam, anu, ava, mis, nir, dus, dur. वी आम नी अधि अपि अति सु उद अभि प्रति परि एंड उप एते प्रादय दिस आर प्रादय मींस दिस इज अ प्रादिगण एंड व्हेन दिस इज एडेड टू एनी वर्ड वेयर देयर इज क्रिया योग मीनिंग व्हाट व्हाटएवर इज द धातु क्रिया क्रिया इंडिकेटेड बाय द धातु व्हिच फॉलोस दिस प्र परा इत्यादि इफ दिस प्र द मीनिंग ऑफ प्र कनेक्ट्स हैज अ क्रिया अन्वय Has a kriya yoga I means kriya and where it connects to the uh, kriya indicated by the dhatu in the following word, then it is called as upasarga. Then the same pradi will be called as will get another sanya instead of pradaya. It, instead of being called as pradi, let's say plain pradi, they will be called as upasarga now. So upasarga has a technical meaning. Whenever something is said as an upasarga. Then it has to have kriya yoga with the uh, the, the, the dhatu that follows in the next word. So uh, let me look up if there is an example. Upasar, upasarga, kriya yogi. Does uh, lagukara give any? See, see, lagukara has just used this as a. There is a. Uh, just a definition he uses as a sanya and moves on we'll uh, try to look at at least one example see he's moved on to the next sutra that's all he's saying upasarga pradaya kriya yoga upasarga sanya syu that's all it gets an upasarga sanya if there is a kriya yoga and kriya yoga can be explained as uh, okay difficult to find the sutra because there is lot of uh, what is called as yoga vibhaga Yoga Vibhaga means the uh, the sutra is split into two. I'll just mention that also. So Pradayaha, Pradayaha Kriya Yoga. Okay, the one four fifty eight maybe. Okay. I'm trying to look up. Uh, uh, In Kashika, but the issue is that uh, since there is Yoga Vibhaga, it is difficult to find the sutra. It is uh, sometimes mixed and sometimes uh, split split across the sutras. Fifty-seven, say okay. Which one is it? Okay, Pradeya Kriya Yoga. Okay, Pradeya Satyani Pat Sanyana Bhuti. Okay, he uh, so in Kashika, I think the uh, in some version of Kashika the uh, sutras are put together, so it's difficult to find. I'm looking at an example. Okay, um, I may need to look online because the print that I have it is not there. Give me just a moment. Okay, let's look at uh, Nyasa. In uh, Nyasa is a commentary there. He has an example. Okay, hmm. he gives an example of. It's a counter example. Okay, let me look up a dictionary word if I can find one. Uh, 
Okay, I'm assuming that. Uh, uh, okay, if I were to take two examples, say Prakashaha. Okay, and another example as Pradeshaha. This is with this Pradigana Pra. We are looking at Pra, and what is the Kriya Yoga here? See Prakashaha. If I were to say Prakashaha, I can make an anvaya. What is the uh, Prakarshena? Kashate iti prakasha. If this is my uh, vivaksha and thereby I made prakasha as a word. Prakarshena kashate iti prakasha. Then kashate katham kashate prakarshena kashate. Therefore, whatever is the kriya in this kash dhatu, okay, that, that kriya, this prakarsha, prakarsha has a, has a, is is connected to that kash how in which manner that kash is there is some connection and thereby this pra will become an upasarga however in pradesha it is not an upasarga pradesha it is not prakarshena desha or anything you can't make that there is no kriya in desha uh, where pra has an anvaya there what is the meaning of pra there say uh, there it may be uh, the meaning can be just a second what does he say uh, Nyasa gives that example as a counter example there he says ok so he says Pranayako Deshaha so Pranayaka Deshaha is Pradeshaha and there this pra, this pra will then it will become natvam, but uh, I'll just keep it like this, okay. Uh, it can be both. So there can be other meanings also, pranayako deshaha. So I'll give it pranayako desha. There can be pranayaka also in another context. Let's say pranayaka desha. This pra has anvaya, anvaya and kriya yoga with this ni. Ni dhatu, ni prap, ninj prapane. That dhatu is sitting here as nayaka. So that nayaka may have some kind of a connection with pra. But desha does not have a connection. Desha, this pra does not have any connection, kriya yoga with desha. Therefore, in pradesha, pra is what? It is pradi. Pra is pradi. But in prakashaha, pra is upasarga because it has kriya yoga. So this is the difference between Pradi and Upasarga. Now further, what does the Sutra say here? This is a Nipasa. So it, it is, it will also get a Sanya called Nipata Sanya. And Nipata Sanya by the, uh, another Sutra earlier, elsewhere, in that Sutra says that Nipata is Avyaya. Nipatas are Avyayas and thereby Upasargas are also Avyayas. Pradis are Avyayas. Upasargas are also Avyayas. So Pradayaha and then next sutra says what? Gatischa. Gatischa is another sutra. It gets Gati Sanya also. So Gatischa means Gati Sanya also it gets. Not only this Upasargaha. Pradayaha uh, Kriya Yoga Upasargaha and this Kriya Yoga has an Anuritti till 79. Okay. So Pradeha Upasarga Kriya Yoga and Gatishya Gati is also Sanya for the same Pradi which has a uh, Kriya Yoga. So in in the, in other case there may be this Upasarga in some Samasas for example there may be a connection and it may be a Gati. So here it may become a Gati Tatpurusha etc. Okay. So this, here it may be called as a Gati. This Prakasha can may be Gati. But here it is Pradi. And uh, I should have used a Tinganta example here, not Prakasha here. So uh, say uh, Prakashate. Let's make it Prakashate. Prakashate. So Prakashate iti. So I'll just say iti Prakashate. So that's the meaning here. So here it will be Upasarga and elsewhere in the Samasa case it may be called as a Gati 
and here since there is no kriya yoga it is plain pradi plain pradi is i am just differentiating between pradi which becomes upasarga uh, called upasarga and pradi which is not called upasarga it is just pradi so that is the difference here now this this is a nipata also so here is a says pradi ha kriya yoga upasarga sanya syu this is all we get here however if you look at the sutra pata you also know it is nipata and nipata elsewhere it is said um uh, sutra what is the sutra we okay how oh, we am how we am hmm what is i'm just trying to recollect the sutra what a good time to recollect sutras right now um swaradi nipatam avyayam so somewhere in the beginning so uh, 1136 so if you look at this one we are in 14 earlier in 1136 there is a sanya uh, avyaya sanya so here here 37 37 or 36 swaradi nipatam avyayam so nipata swaradi swaradi nipatam Uh, forget swaradi right now this nipata nipata is avyayam so swaradi nipatam avyayam avyaya is the sanya here and then the 37 till 37 to 41 this all of these are avyayas swaradi nipatam avyayam taddita cha asaro vibhakti krinme janta tvatosu kasunah avyay bhavascha all of these are avyaya what is our interest this nipata nipatam avyayam nipata is avyaya thereby what we have here in upasarga kriya yoga these upasargas are nipatas and therefore they become avyaya and by saying avyaya they will decline and they lose their their ending because they are avyaya they lose the ending and so when you see pra in any um, uh, any declension pra will remain pra how it connects with this kashate this pra will remain pra it is an avyaya further now so that sutra is covered why did he bring that sutra because he wants to get into sandhi between upasarga and something else and where vriddhi takes place so now he is already said kriya yoga kriya yoga pradayah kriya yoga upasarga sanyasyu so here upasarga aron is prathama bhuvachana and kriya yoga is सप्तमी एक वचन क्रिया योगे सती वेन देर इज क्रिया योग प्रादय आर कॉल्ड एज उपसर्ग ना वॉट इज क्रिया योग वॉट इज क्रिया योग वी नो दैट क्रिया इज विद इन दि धातु बट इन लघु प्रक्रिया वी हेव नॉट सीन दी मीनिंग ऑफ वॉट इज धातु सो ही गोज फॉर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ दि धातु नाउ नेक्स्ट सिंस क्रिया योग हेज टू बी अंडरस्टूड ओनली विद इन दि धातु Dhatu alone reveals the kriya. Therefore, he introduces this sutra as to what are dhatus. So, sutra there is. There are two sutras which are uh, which give the dhatu sanya. One is what this bhu adayo dhatavaha, bhu adayo dhatavaha, bhu adaya ha. भूवादय एंड धातव धातव इज प्रथम भूवचन भूवादय ऑल्सो प्रथम भूवचन दिस इज भूवादय इज प्रथम भूवचन ऑफ वॉट भूवादी भू नॉट भादी भादी इज अ गण भूवादय इज से भूधातु एंड वा धातु एक्सेट्रा भूधातु वा धातु etc are what are dhatus what is his vritti uh, for that kriya vachinu vadayah dhatu sanya syuh he says this kriya vachinah which are kriya vachinah which stand for the kriya those words which stand for the kriya which words those which are in the vadi gana vadi gana onwards Starting with vadi gana, vadi, vadi gana, and 
not only bhadi gana, we'll see what does this bhadi mean, this bhadaya mean. It's a samasa. So kriya vachina bhadaya dhatu sanyaha syu. This is all that he says. What is the meaning of this kriya vachinaha? Why he says kriya vachinaha? Why bhadaya dhatu sanyaha syu? So there, samasas we'll have to see what are the samasas here. See, Vadayaha Samasa is Bhu. So, this Vadaya is what? Bhuscha. Sorry, Bhu. Bhuscha. Vascha. Bhuvau. Okay. Because this is a Bhu is the first element of the Samasa. Why is the second element of? the samasa and how does it uh, decline bhuva bhuva so bhuva like ramo still not like ramo but for for now it is okay akaranta pullinga shabda but also your bhuva so bhu dhatu bhu is a dhatu as we know and va is also a dhatu but here he is introducing a dhatu sanya they get the dhatu sanya, which are these in the some patha which has been made where bhu is one element and va is some el another element. There are such elements like bhu and va. He is giving an example. See bhu, bhu can also mean prithvi, bhumi. Bhumi is also called as bhu. Va means what? Va can also mean or like uh, uh, ramaha va, lakshmanaha va. So Ramova Lakshmanova, that is that va is also there. Is this that va? Is this bhu bhumi bhu? No. Therefore he says Kriya Vachinaha Bhadayaha. Those which are listed in the Patha where bhu is not having the meaning of bhumi. What meaning does it have? It is Kriya Vachina. It stands for a Kriya. Bhu Sattayam. Sattayam is the Kriya. In the meaning of satta, sattayam vishaye yaha bhu shabdaha vartate saha kriya vachinaha bhu shabdaha bhuti. That, that bhu shabda is covered here. What about this va shabda? Va also has the meaning there, it says a dhatu. So va dhatu has what meaning now? Va dhatu, va dhatu has the meaning of gati gandhana yoho. So va, this bhu is what? Bhuscha is equal to Bhu. I'll just add instead of saying Bhuscha, I'll say Bhu Sattayam. Bhu Sattayam. Bhu Sattayam Cha. Bhu Sattayam Cha. Va Gati Gandha Nayoho Cha. These are the meanings. The Bhu in the meaning of Satta and Va in the meaning of Gati Gandhana, Gandhana these are put together and what Samasa is Bhuva, Prasama Dvivachana. And then Adi is also there. So Bhuva, Bhuva is the first part of the Samasa. Then next part of the Samasa is what? This is Itare Tara Dvandoha. Second Samasa is what? Adi, you see this Adi Pada? And does anyone remember what is uh, uh, what is Ekashesha? Does anyone know what is Ekashesha? For it, remember Ekashesha Vritti. In Panchavritti, there is an Ekashesha Vritti. Anyone? Yes, no? Some response, please. Yes, okay. Okay. So what is what is Ekashesha? I'll come to Ekashesha. See Ekashesha as we saw uh, in a prayer in the other Sanskrit class we do a prayer where we say what? Mata Pitaru. So Jagatah Mata Pitaru. The Jagatah Mata Pitaru, Mata and Pita, Shiva and Parvati are Mata and Pita of this Prapancha. 
So we say Jagat of Mata Pitaru and Jagat of Mata Pitaru will become what? Jagat of Pitaru. Mata and Pitara. Mata and Pita can put, be put together in a Samasa as a Dwanga Samasa and it will become Mata Cha Pita Cha Mata Pitaru. Pita Shabda, Pitru Shabda. It is Pitru, Pratipati against Pitru. In Ekashesha Vritti, you can drop the word Mata and Pitaru will cover the meaning of Mata as well. So it will become Mata Pitaru is equal to Pitaru. It will mean both parents, not it. Elsewhere it can mean Pitaru is equal to two fathers also. Here, however, in Ekashesha Vritti, when you say Pitaru, it is Ekashesha Vritti and there it means um, Mata and Pita, both. So Pitaru as Pitaru in dual will carry the meaning of Mata as well. So Ekaha Shishyate, out of the two only one remains, that is called as Ekashesha. Here also it is actually a Ekashesha. Adihi Adischa. So Adischa Adischa. So Adi and Adi together will become what? Adi. It will become Adi. Why? Because Harihi. See Harihi and Harihi. There are two Haris. Harihi cha Harihi cha. Har Hari. It will become Harihi. Hari Harayaha. That's how Hari Shabda declines. So Harishcha Harishcha will become what? Hari. But in Ekashesha, here Adishcha Adishcha Adi and in Ekashesha is equal to what? Ekashesha Vritti will be what? Ekashesha Vritti for this is equal to what? Ekashesha Vrittau. Ekashesha Vrittau what? Adi. It will become Adi only. Adi. Okay, so this Adi here, see Bhuva there, we, we just say Bhuva and Adi. It has Bhuva and Adi. That's, these are the three Padas we see in this Samasa Bhuva Dayaha, in this world. Bhuva Adi. But Bhuva Adi is what? Bhuva, that there is a Dvandva between Bhu and Va. And between Adi and Adi, here there is another uh, Dvandva and then there is an Ekashesha. It's an Ekashesha Samasa. Then you take Bhuvo, Bhuvo Adihi. So Bhuvo Adihi Heshamte. Then this Adihi and uh, there is an Ekashesha Vritti. Adishcha Adishcha Adi. And then, oh, wait, uh, Ekashesha, here it is not Ekashesha. I'm sorry, here it is not Ekashesha. My mistake, because otherwise we can't do Bahuri. There is a Bahuri here. Uh, yeah, there will be a Bauri here. It's, uh, it's not an Ekashesha here, I'm sorry. Adishcha, Adishcha, Adi. And then between Bhuvau, this word Bhuvau, what we got here, Bhuvau, and this Adi here. There is a Itaretar Dandwa. This is also an Itaretar Dandwa. And so Bhuvau, Bhuvau, Adihi. Not Adihi, Vo Adi. Both Bhu and Va are at the beginning of which Bhu Adi Yesha. Who are this? This is Ganavyakti Nam. So Yesham Ganavyakti Nam. Te. What will that be? Bhu Vadayaha. Okay, that is the Samasa here. Te. Bhu Vadaya. That is the Bhuri. So first we did a dvandva, itaritar dvandva between bhu and va, then another dvandva between adi and adi, here adi, but actually you look at this, there is an adi. So um, it is, uh, whether it can be called as an ekashesha, I am thinking, adishcha, adishcha, adi, no, it's, a, it's not an ekashesha. It is also called an, actually it is also seen as an ekashesha, like Ramaha, Ramo. There Ramascha Ramascha Ramau, there it is seen as a, actually it is an Ekashesha only. This is this can be this Adi itself is an Ekashesha, not Adi. This is an Ekashesha. Adishcha Adishcha should have been Adi Adi, right? Adishcha Adishcha should have been Adi Adi. Uh, but why Adi Adi? So it should have been Adi Adi, but why do we get only Adi here? 
with dual declination because it is an ekashesha. This is an ekashesha. In the declination also, Ramaha Ramo Ramaha Ramaha Ramo. That Ramo is an ekashesha. Uh, it can be seen as an ekashesha. Similar here, Adi is an ekashesha. Yeah. So uh, Bhuvo Adi. So Bhuvo Adi Yesham Te Yesham Ganavyakti Nam. Those which are there in the Gana, those members which are there in the Gana, among them Bhu and Va are, are at the beginning of those particular lists. And those lists are what? They are Bhuva Deya. Those, those, all those members are called as Bhuva Deya. And those Bhuva Deya are called as Dhatus. They are Dhatava. They get Dhatu Sanya. And what kind of who are they are now? Those which are Kriya Vachina. They should have the meaning of the Kriya. They, they reveal some kind of an activity. Kriya. Va, where you say Ramascha, Ra, uh, Ramaha, Va, Laks, Ramova, Lakshmanova, Narova, Kunjarova. When you have that Va, that Va is not a Kriya Vachina. That, that Va is not a Kriya Vachi. But in this Va Gati Gandana Yoho, that Va listed in the Gana, is Kriyavachi. Similarly, Bhu as Bhumi is not Kriyavachi, but in the meaning of Satta existence, that Bhu is a, uh, it's a Kriyavachi. And that Bhu and Va and such similar ones, all those similar words which are listed, those are Dhatus. Okay. Another, now in this context, I would like to mention one sutra as well. Another, I'll just mention. Sanadhyanta Dhatavaha. So Sanadhyanta Dhatavaha is also another definition of Dhatu. Not only these, these, but there are ones which can be derived also. San, San is a Pratya. In the, this Kradanta section you will see San Pratya also. San, Yang, all these. They are all Sanadhi, Nich. All these are what? Sanadhi Pratyas. Those, those words which have Sanadhi Pratyas in their end, they are also derived dhatus. They are derived dhatus and they are also dhatus. Therefore, that sutra also gives a dhatu sanya. Now, these are the sutras which give the dhatu sanya. Other than these, there are some dhatus which are listed in the sutra pata itself. So, what is the other sutra? I'll mention here in the brackets or I'll just list it out here. Other sutra is sanadhyantaha. Sanadhyantaha. Dhatavaha. That's another sutra. Other than these, there are some other dhatus are Sautra dhatus. So there are some Sautra dhatus also. Sautra dhatavaha, Sautra dhatavaha. What, what are Sautra dhatus? Sutra sambandhya, Sautra. So there are some uh, sutras which list the dhatu directly. And those dhatus are not there in the dhatu part of. There are some words listed. See, some words may be listed and they come with some kind of a meaning in the sutra part of itself. And those are also considered as dhatus, as sautra dhatus. Okay, they are not found in the sutra part of dhatus. They are, south, uh, they are not in the, uh, they are in the, um, uh, they are in the ashtadhyayi and thereby they are Sutra Dhatus. They are contained within the Sutra, not available as Dhatus listed separately in the Dhatu Patha and they are not derived either. They are understood from the Sutra. The, the Sutra introduces a particular Dhatu. Those are also Dhatus, Sautra Dhatus. So now he has introduced what is Upasarga, what is Dhatu. Now he comes to the uh, the intention of the section is to show Achsandhi. And now he gives in this sutra. What is that? It is Upasarga Riti Dhatau. In this sutra, he has, there is there are terminologies used. Upasarga, Upasargat, Riti Dhatau. So what is Dhatu? If we don't understand, we do not know what is Dhatu and what is Upasarga. We won't understand this sutra meaning. We may say that, okay, something is happening here, but what is an upasarga? What is a dhatu? So, it is introduced earlier itself in 
भूवादय भुवादय धातवा एंड दिसर सुत उपसर्ग क्रिया युग दैट इज द इंटेंशन ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग उपसर्ग एंड धातु संज्ञा हियर सो वॉट डज दिस सूत्र से दिस इज अ संधि सूत्र इट इज अ विधि सूत्र इट से उपसर्गा उपसर्गा ऋति उपसर्गा पंचमी एक वचन एंड ऋति इज सप्तमी एक वचन धातव धातव इज ऑलो वॉट सप्तमी एक वचन सो वेन ऋत दिस ऋत धातु ऋत धातु इज वॉट युजर धातु ऋत सी हियर उपसर्गा ऋति धातु दिस इज सिक्स वन नाइंटी वन If you go to this section 6191, now I want you to look up this in your sutra patha where you have your adhikaras marked. See if you can find what is the anuvritti here. We, see, hint is in the. We'll see in the hint. Hint in this in this uh, vritti. See, avarnanta, avarnanta, upasargad, rukarada, udhato, pare. सूत्र बट What does the vyakhyana say? What does the vritti say? Lagu vritti say? It says, it says, it says, rukara adau, rukara adau. So vritti, this vritti is rat, takara is taparana karana. So tapara karana by takara, tapara karana. What do we know? We know that rasva rukara, this rukara. So rukara is said, but why rukara adau? Why, where does this adau come from? And उपसर्गात ऑल्सो ही सेज उपसर्गात एंड इन उपसर्गा सिक्स वन नाइंटी वन इफ यू लुक एट दिस सूत्र सिक्स वन नाइंटी वन ओके सो सिक्स वन नाइंटी वन वी स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम वेर वी स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम एक पूर्व पर आद गुण से आद गुण आथ हेज अन टिटिल नाइंटी सिक्स एंड वॉट इज द सूत्र नंबर वी आर लुकिंग एट It is 91. So 91 very well has at. At is avarna. Avarnan, avarnanta. So avarna, avarnat is what? This avarna goes as as a panchami. At goes as a panchami to upasarga. Therefore, in bracket we have what? At. At as an anurutti. At ekaha. पूर्व पर ओके नाउ व्हाट इज से उपसर्गात आत उपसर्गात आत उपसर्गात आत विल गो एज एज अ विशेषण आत उपसर्गात आत उपसर्गात व्हाट कैंड ऑफ उपसर्ग आत उपसर्ग अवर्णात अवर्णात उपसर्गात बट ही हैज यूज अ तदंत विधि हियर अवर्णांतात उपसर्ग अ सी आत उपसर्ग इफ यू टेक देन अवर्ण अ और आ अ और आ शुड बी द उपसर्ग डू यू सी उपसर्ग हियर विच इज अ आ प्र परा अप सम अनु अव नन ऑफ दिस वेर डू यू सी अज एन उपसर्ग वेर डू यू सी आ एज एन उपसर्ग और वेर डू यू सी प्लुता आ एज एन उपसर्ग देर इज नो उपसर्ग लाइक दैट so pradis themselves are called as upasarga when there is a kriya yoga and none of them have a a varna as none of them i am not saying none of them have but in the list out of this list of 24 uh, maybe 24 or whatever it is uh, there is no a or a there is no a varna at all within those those individual members entities individual upasargas there are there, there is an a uh. so what it means is that now there he has used a tadanta vidhi <laughs> what is the tadanta vidhi here that at at qualifies upasarga and at is what and whenever you have an adjective visheshan and vishesha that time you can use a tadanta vidhi and by tadanta vidhi 
what will it become? Avarnantat. Anta Shabda by Sadanta Vidhi will come and sit after At. So At is what? Avarna. And therefore, At Avarnat is equal to Avarnantat with Sadanta Vidhi. Avarnantat Upasarga. So Upasarga which is not an Avarna, but Upasarga which is ending in an Avarna. That is the meaning of Upasarga here with At as a Visheshana. This At will take a Sadanta Vidhi. So this takes a Sadanta Vidhi. What about Ruti? So Ruti Dhatav. So Ruti Dhatav also is have a Visheshana Visheshya Sambandha and thereby and there is a Tadanta Vidhi which is possible. But when Saptami is there and Saptami Algrahani, when there is an Algrana, Ruti is an Algrana, there is only single letter Al. Ruti, Ruta is Taparakarana, here this Takara is Taparakarana. What is it restricting? It is restricting Matra of Rikara to Praswa or Ekamatra. Thereby the content is this Rukara, not Ruvarna, but Rukara, only Hraswa Rukara. And that being a single letter, when there is a, in the possibility, when there is a possibility of Tadanta Vidhi, which is possible in all cases, except in Saptami, when the rule is indicating a single, is indicated by a single letter, Al. So that Al, because of Al Grahana, in Saptami, instead of Tadadi, Tadanta Vidhi, there will be application of Tadadi Vidhi and thereby this Rath will take Adi. So Rudadi, it will become Rudadi or Rukaradi and Rukaradi in Saptami will become Rukaradav. So Avarnant Upasargat, Avarnantat Upasargat Rukaradav, that's what this Rukaradav is. This, there is a typo here, it is not... Uh, uh, yeah, it is, there, there is a double Dakara. See, there is a double Dakara here. It is not double Dakara. It is, well, reading I read it. Upasarga Rukaradav. Rukaradav Dhato Pare. What happens? Vridhi Ekadesha Bhoti. So, not only is there, this Eka Purubhas, this Vridhi, Vridhi goes till 92. And our Sutra is 91. Therefore, Vridhi is the Adesha here. So you have Eka Purva Parayoho, what? Vruddhi Bhavati. Vruddhi Bhavati, that is the Adesha. So what will you get here? His example is Prarchati. So he, what is this? Pra, Pra plus Ruch. Ruch, so Ruchati, I will say Ruchati. Pra plus Ruch, what will happen? Ruchati, so Ruchati, Pra plus Ruchati, by the rule that we know what, ha what will happen, Aad Gunaha, this is a Avarnantat, Achi Pare, this is an Ach following, Gunaha Bhavati, and we would have made a Guna, Eka Purva Pare, Gunaha, what would you get? Guna for Ru is A, and Purva Pare, therefore Pra plus Ru will become Pra, and pra uran rapora you will get re pa after that and you will get prar. So prarchati is, is the form. But this upasarga truti dhatau is an apavada instead of guna vridhi vidhiyate. So vridhi is prescribed and therefore vridhi for this is what? There is ru here. Prachati. And the sandhi between this is uh, ad guna hiti sutrena guna prapte sati. Uh, idam Sutra Uchyate. What? Vriddhi hi vidhiyate. So thereby you will get pra. This will become pra. This a. Uran rapara will give you repha. And then chati is there. So you will get pra chati. That is how do you get this? By this sutra, current sutra. Upasarga. First you will get upasarga kriya yogi. Then when there is Kriya Yoga, there is a Kriya Yoga, Prakarshina Ruchati, Prarchati. So Upasarga Kriya Yoga, Sutra, Yoga, then what? Then you will get this Sutra, which is saying what? Upasargad, Upasargad, Ruti, Dhatau. Kim Bhavati? Vriddhi. So Vriddhi Bhavati. Ekadesha. 
and then when you replace it with what is the vruddhi for uh, uh, a and ru for both it is a a is the vruddhi and then uran raparaha raparaha by that you will get refa here okay so prarchati is the form next sutra is engi pararupam engi engi pararupam i'll just complete the sutra it's a short one and then we'll stop for today engi pararupam engi is what saptami ekvachana of eng pararupam pararupam pararupa is whatever follows whatever follows that instead of puro parayo he ekadesha now what is happen would happen pararupa whatever is the following that will be the adesha when 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 eng follows eng follows what so this sutra is what 6194 if you search the anurutis you will be able to make out what all is coming to 94 sutra is so upasargat ruti dhato we did just now and then 90 is eng pararupam we saw this last time when when it was this eti uh, edhat yutsu so eti edhat yutsu was introduced because eng otherwise eng if pararupam would have applied and then instead of vruddhi you would have got what pararupa sandhi whatever is pararupa pararupa will be what when eng follows eng is pararupa so eng will be the ekadesha ekadesha still is, is still there ekadesha ekadesha and see all upasarga all that have an anurutti why here you see at this ad guna ad goes till 96 and our sutra is 94 so ad is there we have ad here ekadesha is there ad is there what else is there in fact puro parayo will also be there see ek of puro parayo goes till triple 1 puro parayo ho so ek ha puro parayo ekadesha so ekadesha is ek ha ek ha ek ha purva purva parayo ho and at of when at at uh, avarnat avarnat and upasarga is also there this upasarga that we just saw this upasarga where does it go till it go both of these upasarga dhatu go till 94 riti goes till 92 but this upasarga dhatu goes till 94 and our sutra is this 94 till this sutra therefore as upasarga what upasarga and what else is anurti dhatu dhatu but this c ruti does not go so dhatu when when what engi hi dhatu engi engi dhatu would will what will mean what now eng will also be it's a pratyahara talking about only one one letter eng a o so a or o a or o are in saptami to dhatu will become what will take tadadi vidhi they will take tadadi vidhi and upasarga then anyway have a tadanta vidhi so avarnanta upasarga engado dhatu so so that's what it's saying ad upasarga is avarnanta upasarga engado see engado dhatu with tadadi vidhi pararupam ekadeshasya there is a pararupa ekadesha one adesha is there which is pararupa purva parayo vruddhi was there so far now not vruddhi it is an apavada to vruddhi what will happen you will get these examples now what is the example so there is a pararupa example is pra plus ejate pra ejate and pra is a prakarshane ejate so prakarshane is it is a upasarga kriya yoge what will happen earlier we have seen this a what what should it give see 
what is the basic sutra for ruddhi that we saw earlier here ruddhi rat ruddhi rechi so ruddhi rechi echi echi pare ruddhi bhavati and what are we looking at in this a is h so echi pare ruddhi bhavati ruddhi prapte sati ing is para rupam vidhiyate so except when ing follows yes vruddhi should have happened but if it is engaad au dhatu pare when engaadi dhatu follows then that time what what should you do he says you do not do vruddhi but purva parayo ho purva parayo what do you do he says here para rupam what is the para rupa ek ara is para rupa so a will replace a and a both so we'll get pre jate that is the form pre jate similarly this is an example for what earlier was an example for a ing in ing there are two entities a and o so upa and oshati what is the form here o when o is what o is h a o i o h so h vruddhi rechi should have applied but here he says do not do vruddhi what do you do instead use a para rupa sandhi so para rupa sandhi will be what it will be okara so up o shati you will get so you will get upo upo shati okay so we'll stop here and we'll continue in the next part ha यथावसाने नटराजराजो नना गडक्कानो पंचवारम उद्धर्तु कामसनकादि सिद्धानेत विमर्षे शिवसूत्रजानम